Since 2011, residents have known all too well the frustrations that have gone with Eglinton Crosstown LRT construction. But more recently, a bit of good news in that officials say the project should be substantially completed by the end of the year. But with recent supply chain issues, COVID and labor disruptions, is that still the case? When it comes to complaints about building the Eglinton Crosstown, never hard to find. You could work full time just on the related impacts of construction. During Thursday's council meeting, members were counting issues throughout the decade while talking about the future Ontario Line project. People are avoiding going there because of the construction. The businesses are suffered and suffering and at the same time they have to pay their lease payments, they have to pay their taxes. Many businesses, the first time that they ever had any real government funding support when they were taking on the burden for the greater public good was during COVID due to the COVID-related programs. City News recently looked at progress across the line. At stations like Keelsdale, almost fully done on the outside. At Oakwood, still more to do with crews inside. Further east at Science Centre Station, little work happening on the outside, but mostly done. Lots behind the scenes to do to make sure this all operates from day one safely and, and well. At stations like Leaside, in the central part of the 25-stop line, further behind, fueled in part by site complexities. But for Crosslinks, the concern building the line, they faced pandemic and supply chain issues. Some trades going on strike recently, forcing a rejigging of what gets done when. All of these different little things can have little impacts uh, on a project, but they all kind of add up after a while. Metrolink spokesperson Anne-Marie Aikens insists the goal is still to substantially finish the project by the end of 2022, before turning it over to the TTC to operate. They'll start to see more corners open up, more streets open, more sidewalks open, up just a less of an impact on the surface construction. Recent construction highlights include new backup battery power for the entire line and commissioning all the cameras and communication systems syncing with the TTC. A firm date for that transfer hasn't been finalized yet, nor has the opening date. She acknowledges the process has had a profound impact on residents and businesses and removing materials off roads can happen widely because she says a lack of space to store the needed equipment. One thing clear at this point though, don't expect a partial opening. Opening things piecemeal has has, comes with other impacts of where you turn trains, where you store trains. It has all kinds of impacts. So our intention is to open it all together. Uh, but it doesn't mean if a station still has some f minor finishing touches, as long as it, you can open it safely. For more on the story, go to citynews.ca. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.